Beloved viewer, my name is Peace Ame, and with me is Oladeji Enoch. And we are from the Fellowship of Christian Students, Federal University of Technology, Mina. Once again, we are preparing our hearts to be flooded by God in this mission season. It is Missions 2024. Open heaven. Open heaven. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Yes, so for those of you that are just hearing about missions for the first time, I'd like to give some clarity. So Missions is an evangelical program that is planned and organized every year by Fellowship of Christian Students in tertiary institutions nationwide. Here in Federal University of Technology, Mina, over the years, the Fellowship of Christian Students have planned missions and it has been a channel where God has touched many lives in different ways. Particularly in 2023, the theme of that meeting was His Fullness. And the guest ministers that spoke were Evangelist Elijah Dumali and Reverend Ondoma Idion. So when they came, they emphasized on, on the fullness of God. And a statement that struck me was when he said that when you go before God, don't manage your expectations. And adding that if you take out of God anything you desire, like anything you want out of God, what is left in God is still fullness. Personally, this 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 um, built my faith. I went back home and I crested 300 things I wanted to do at certain points in my life. Right now, I've written about 100 of them. But and at this point in time, I already seen some of them even being manifested in my life, like right now. So it was really, really a blissful experience. Yes, it was an amazing experience. I was there and I was blessed too. And this year, we are preparing our hearts to receive more from God. On the 25th to 27th of March, Missions 2024 will be happening here at the Federal University of Technology, Mina. The 25th will be happening at the Boso campus, while the 26th and the 27th will be happening here at the Gidankwano campus. The ministers will be Minister Abimbola Samuel, ministering in songs and evangelist Sunday Oguche. We love to see you there. Now we'll be moving on to the frequently asked questions. We have some questions that we've gathered over the years that have been asked over and over. Again. So we'll be answering them in this video. And I have something here. As you can see, it's written Scrabble on this board. We are not playing Scrabble, we are past that. We are going to be answering questions. The first question. You know, it says, what can I expect from mission? What can you expect from mission? Um, it's more of an advice and a testimony. Expect to be blessed. Expect to be transformed. I think those two, I don't want to sound dramatic, but those two actually tells you should to work to come and get mission. My turn. Okay. Why is it called mission? Okay, it is like the was being linear question. But yeah, it's called missions because it is according to the mandate given to us by God. By Jesus Christ, actually, where he says we should go into the world and bring more people into the So, yes, 
it's like a mission to go into the world and bring more people. I will be asking the next question. When is missions? Missions is happening on the 25th to the 27th of March 2020 by 5.45 p.m. So be expecting to see. Okay, this question goes, how can I contribute towards mission? That's an amazing question because yes, you can contribute towards missions by praying. Yes, we need your prayers. We need God to take charge of the program. You can also contribute by giving. There are account numbers that will be placed on the screen. So please, you can donate to missions and God bless you so much. Thank you. And to chip into that, sir, I think donation is something that missions actually need for it to become a success. So you can actually send missions to that. All right. Uh the next question is, what can I expect from missions? What can I expect from missions? What you can expect from missions is that you'll be transformed, that you'll be blessed, and the word of God will come to profit. I think those three are things that you can build on, not just things that, uh, uh, that fit with time, but something that would actually reach you throughout your journey in life. So you can expect that from missions. I love this question so much. It says, can I invite anyone? So please, can I invite anyone for mission? Stand up. You can invite anyone for mission. And whoever is watching, you can invite anyone for mission. Mission is not anybody. Uh, I think it's the last one. Okay, well, there's one more. So, our bag of mysteries. We have one. Do I need to pay to attend? So, please tell me, how much should I start scattering? Yeah, well, this our world today, almost everything is not. They say if anything is free, then you are the product. But mission is it's on the contrary. So, you can, don't need to pay anything. All you need is to come with an expectant heart and you'll be blessed. Uh, the last question. Last question. So you started this when I'm here. Uh, the first <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. This question says, can a non-FCS member attend? I'll go, I'll go to it again. Can a non-FCS, that is fellowship of Christian students member attend? Of course, a non-FCS member can attend missions because even if FCS is organizing it, we are offering to everybody so you can come and be blessed. God wants to reach everybody as many as possible. So wherever you are from, you can attend mission. And we are here. The last question it says, what if I'm not What? Not, and I think what the person is aiming to is that even if I'm not aiming, can I still participate in missions? But I think with the aid of technology and social media, it's be very, very, very much possible. Because that if you can just have data, and if you have a social media account like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, or YouTube, you can connect to missions wherever you are, and you can be blessed by the awesome thing that we have on the missions. So. I truly hope that you understood all the answers we gave and because of these answers, if not for any reason, but because you are now clear, you would come for mission. So we will see you here. Thank you.